Now, welcome back everybody to the beautiful flight simulator. And well, in today's video, it's gonna be all about, well, speed and the X-15, everybody. The fastest ever aeroplane. We all know it, we all love it. I hope you know it, right? At least the people that know it love it. Yes, this plane was built for NASA for kind of researching purposes back in the 50s. And well, pretty much it was built for only one thing and one thing only, and that is speed. Yes, this thing could fly at a speed of like seven Mach. Like here are some record flights, right? Right here in 1967 it reached a speed of 7200 kilometers per hour which is 4500 miles and that is Mach 7 7 times the speed of sound another thing that the X15 could do very well is fly at a very very high altitude as well the highest flight ever done was in 1968 at 81 kilometers above the skies my goodness by the way, that's 267,000 feet of altitude. My god, a normal passenger plane flies at around 30,000 or 40,000 feet. So this is <clears throat> a little bit interesting. Yes, and so in today's video, I would like to, well, talk a little bit about this plane because it's so interesting. The thing is though, <clears throat> I mean, I've already talked a little bit about this aeroplane and kind of complained how I w weren't able to fly it very well. It's not very pilot friendly, not very easy to fly. I mean, let's look at this cockpit alone. Like, you cannot even see what's right in front of you. Like, how are you? How is this gonna work? Great. But something else that this plane cannot really do on its own is, uh, well, take off. It was never designed to be able to take off on its own. I mean, if we, I've tried this before again in a video. I made a whole dedicated video on that. If we try to take it off here on London Gatwick's runway, first of all, the taxing isn't very much. Work. Yes, I'm flying with this mouse yoke here. I don't have a joystick on me, but as you can tell, ah. Uh, that's exactly what happens when you try to somewhat use an X-15 on the ground. You just roll over all the time. Yes, everybody, North American who built the X-15 with a very, very creative name, of course. They really went all in and said, all right, you know what? We're just gonna build this so that it can only like fly at a very high altitude. And maybe let's, you know, not built in a feature where it can fly on, like do anything pretty much that a normal plane can do. This is very useless of a plane, but as you can tell, I haven't actually mentioned that just yet. Of course, the X-15 has a rocket engine, which is the only way it can fly at high altitudes, of course, because, you know, at 260,000 feet, there are not much air. And this does not work. Yeah, the plane just rolls over. We don't have a proper landing gear. We do have a proper nose landing gear, but just these weird little stands right here, right? Now, to take off this aeroplane, you would need another plane that would carry it up into the skies. <sighs> Let's do that right here, okay? Of course, we have a very good feature here in the flight simulator. Yeah, I've never actually done this properly, so I wanted to do this here. We can set here, be carried by another aircraft, of course. The B-52 Strata Fortress. Yes, everybody, the good old American minstrosity, everybody. The B-52 eight engines and, well, and uh, we're also tucked on the wing ray here. Look at this. Yeah, this is really how an X-15 flight, you know, used to actually start. We used to be um, taken to the skies by the B-52. Now, right now, here, the flight simulator with a little bit of an AI flies this B-52, so I'm not in the control of that. So, yes, we're still the pilots of the X-15. We can even see here in the cockpit, and we can press the space bar to drop ourselves. So, let's maybe do that. Normally, in real life, they would have tried to, you know, go as high as possible with the uh, B-52, you know, just to give the... X-15 a little bit of a start right there. I mean, the thing is, this plane has a very, very small fuel tank. We're gonna find that out in a second, but let me just try to load it up all the way. Here we go, now all the way here, and let's give it a flight time of one minute and 18 seconds, everybody. How great is that? Yes, everybody. <clears throat> anyway, let's go ahead now and uh, do this. I've really never done this, so this could be interesting. Also with a mouse yoke. So what I'm doing now is giving it a, a little bit of thrust. Here you go, a little bit of rocket thrust. All right, and then I'm gonna press the space bar indeed. All right, let's go. Oh yes, everybody. We are actually, we're in the air and we're actually flying somewhat. Damn, this has been probably the most professional operation I've ever done with a mouse yoke. The thing is, actually, this plane actually does fly surprisingly easy when it's in the air. Like, of course, you're not supposed to do any, like, harsh movements, but anyway, let's go ahead now and maybe reach some speed with this. Now, I'm going full power with this rocket engine. Um, we're right now at not a very high altitude, but we can already see here we have a Mach counter. We're already at 1.6 Mach, which is a great speed, isn't it? Oh. Oh, I've messed this up. Sorry. Oh. Uh, yeah, the thing, yeah, the, the mouse joke is just absolutely annoying. Yes, everybody, we're already above the speed of sound. Let's maybe, you know what? Let's maybe try to actually reach this record 
of Mach 7. For now, for that one, we do have to reach a little bit of a higher altitude than 14,000 feet. So let me go to 90,000 feet. Yes, here we go. This is an altitude where you can already see, as you can tell, well, the stars, at least some of them. And we run out of fuel. Yeah, let me just say, this plane wasn't all too practical. It was pretty much only used by America, probably, to say, all right, you guys, we have the fastest plane at Mach 7. All right, come on. Why is this engine dead now? I've tried to refuel it now. Here we go, this is the refuel. Come on, work! Ah, yeah, there we go. Now, back to the topic of speed, everybody. We're already at Mach... Well, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Mach 3. How great is that? And as you can see, with this kind of speed, um, we just, we've kind of left England now. That's interesting. Good. You know, I really like this plane. See, like, it, it, you know, it was kind of a military airplane, but its purpose was never to, like, kill anyone or have any weapons on board. The only sole purpose was, well, speed, and it was quite good at that as well. So that's good. Anyway, let's maybe try to reach that speed now. 5 Mach. Can we go faster, please? I wonder how they reached Mach 7 with that fuel tank, honestly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Quite some respect right there. We need to... Come on, we've already lost altitude again. And our engines are dead. All right, time to refuel this. Seriously, how did they do that? All right, great. Okay, now the mock counter is counting up the mocks, indeed. And uh, we've reached the point where my computer cannot really load the scenery in anymore because we're so fast. Great. Now, why is the... Why is the engine dead? Yeah, this plane isn't really doing what I wanted to do. But anyway, let's maybe actually try to reach that top altitude it reached once. Here we go. This is what 260,000 feet looks like, everybody. We, I mean, it does look like proper space already, doesn't it? Yes. What a crazy plane. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. interesting. We've got our engine back for some reason. Yeah, this plane is a little bit cursed right now. But as you can tell right now, we're at Mach 6. So maybe we can reach that Mach 7 quite soon. So at least we can reach the record. My goodness. All right. There we go. That's all I want to see. There we go, Mach 7. And we've run out of fuel once again. Ha! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Great. So yes, everybody, that's, you know, flying the X-15 properly at high speeds and high altitudes. But there's more to the X-15 that I never really quite understood and never really quite did in the video. And that is land this aeroplane. See, in this kind of state, if we put out the landing gear right now, we can do that. We can tell we wouldn't really be able to land this plane properly because this tail fin right here, which is used to control the aeroplane, you know, this this thing right here, is actually further below the well, landing gear, as they would have Those are like skis or something like that. And what I never really understood was, well, how did they land this plane then? Well, what they had to do was drop this, which we can do in the flight simulator as well, I guess, by pressing this button. Yes, there we go. You can kind of see that. Uh, it's not very visually perfect here in the flight simulator, but that's how it worked in real life. And, uh, well, now, in this kind of state, we could land this aeroplane here. And, uh, well, what I can see is that it's basically landing itself. I do kind of want to see that, honestly. A little bit of a cruel situation for this X-15, but I want to see this crash. That could be interesting. It's alright. Oh, now the engine's back? This flight simulator is kind of weird sometimes, isn't it? Alright, so, let me actually perform a landing right here. Let's put the landing gear down. Here we go, that looks nice. And let's get rid of this fin tip thing. Come on. Yes, there we go. And now, in this kind of state, we should be able to land this aeroplane. Now, the only problem that I see is, well, right in front of us. I cannot even see the airfield. I mean, landing Gatwick is actually ahead. You can see the runway. Yeah, we're kind of doing Reiner operations today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, anyway. Let's maybe try to reach this airport. Now, let's maybe put out some flaps. We do have flaps here. Good. Yes, yeah, Oh, damn, those are some quite big flat. Fla I wouldn't have I wouldn't have thought all right pretty good flap surfaces All right and now it's time for high concentration here with their mouse. Yo, this is definitely gonna be a failure <laughs> Good now although we're flying at Reiner's main hub. Let's maybe not try to do a Reiner land Maybe try to actually make this smooth. All right, there we go coming down nicely for the runway Maybe let's perform a butter landing. Is this possible? Okay coming down Yes, here we go. That was not the butteriest of landings, but let's try to- Oh! Alright, we left the runway. That's not really work. But what we're not doing, by the way, as you can tell, is actually, well, rolling over, almost. Yes, everybody. We've actually- This was a survivable landing, I guess. I hope. Seriously, this wasn't all too bad. I want to see this right here. Touchdown. Yes, there we go. 
Nice. Now, yeah, this kind of landing, of course, would render the plane, you know, in a bit of a temporary state of uselessness because, again, we, in real life, would have dropped this whole tail fin right here, which, again, doesn't really show up here in the flight simulator. So we would have to put that on again. But uh, there we go. By the way, to those who've ever wanted to see an X-15 landing here in real life, also, of course, with our good old tail fin gone. It's called lower ventral fin, by the way. Now, this is, I guess, a landing at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Yeah, no, they didn't really land with a Zero plane in London Gatwick. But this is actually a very nice looking landing. A little bit better than I did. Look at that. Actually, almost butter. Like, of course, you know, the plane again is designed to collapse here. That's actually very nice. Of course, no run over. Perfect. As you can tell, though, they, of course, landed this plane on, uh, you know, dead lake bed runways. So, yes, everybody, that's the X-15. One of my favorite planes, even though it's probably one of the worst planes. But, yeah, it's always crazy to think about that, you know, we haven't really come faster than what we did in the 60s, which is interesting. And, uh, but anyway, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Loser, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.